the first days in Tanzania were probably one of my toughest days on the bicycle. Day after day I struggled on the steep, extremely dusty gravel roads. Unfortunately, it was only at the end of this tough but beautiful stretch of gravel that I realized that my camera was in the wrong, low quality setting. I was a bit afraid that it was going to be a hungry day. I didn't have any food with me and no Tanzanian shillings. But the first ADM was like 80 kilometers away today on very hilly gravel roads. Uh, but, well, I entered one house with some people and I asked them if I could trade the only orange that I have had for some uh, bananas. And then they made me grind some coffee beans uh, that they grow and they gave me some bananas, some sugar cane. Then a bit later I came to some kind of uh, village event where they were handing out free food. Some guy stopped me and said please go and yeah so I got some free food, some rice, some meat and some cooked bananas which at least in Uganda they called matoke. Uh, so not too hungry today, still very tiresome. A long way still to go to Kayanga, the first first village uh, where I can get some money hopefully and some good food. <laughs> Maybe you can push me a bit. Impossible this road. Oh. Don't think. I ever had to walk and push my bike as much as these first three days in Tanzania. <sighs> Incredibly steep roads sometimes and all the time there's a red dusty gravel. Are you coming from school? Yes. Ah, okay, I see. And now you are going home. <laughs> and I'm continuing towards Kigoma, uh, the next town, about 300 kilometers to Lake Tanganyika. It's my next destination. What a surreal place, the great Lake Tanganyika, finally! Wow. Not as easy to get in the water here.
from Kigoma to Ujiji now, the next town. From there, I'm hoping to catch a boat uh, on Tanganyika Lake uh, to a village further south, closer to the border with Zambia. Should, uh, the boat ride should take a few days, so I've got my paneers stacked with food. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm a bit uncertain if the boat is really going to be there. Because I just asked some locals and they said, yeah, Wednesday night it, sh it should leave. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, surprise, surprise, no boat today. Couldn't really find out what the reason is. Maybe a holiday today, too much wind, I don't know. But they told me to come back tomorrow, give it on a try. Uh, but yeah, here you can see how much also Lake Tanganyika is rising. Same place, new day. Let's see if the boat is there today. Time the boat is here. And then we finally left, sailing along Lake Tanganyika completely immersing myself in the local life. Our boat was loaded with fish, large baskets, maize meal, mattresses and a lot of people, which was to be delivered on the tiny villages on the shores of Lake Tanganyika. We sailed around the Mahale Mountains, Tanzania's most remote national park. The boat started to rock on the waves more and more as we sailed into the night. It was anything but a comfortable night's sleep and we still had three more days to go. The following morning we had our first long stop to unload and reload our cargo. It gave me the time to get off the boat, explore the small village and find some maize porridge with small fried fish to eat. After three nights on the boat, it is time to switch boats. Came from this boat, bike is here, and we're now going with the boat there, the empty boat there. Oh, the things that happen sometimes, sometimes I can't believe them myself. Just standing at the other harbor where we got off the previous boat, waiting to get on the onto the next one. And then, yeah, I think there was some miscommunication. They told me this boat was going to Kirando, but it turned out to be the other boat. And yeah, by the time I noticed it, it pretty much left already. They, they shouted, wait for the Mizungu, but it, it already went. Uh, so, what happened next is I cycled to the next town where the boat should come. Uh, I think it's coming right there. And then hopefully I can get on it now. But there's a lot of people around, so it will be very full. Let's see.
What an unforgettable experience. Unforgettable four days cruising on Lake Tanganyika with the locals on these uh, very nice wooden boats rocking on the waves. Uh, <laughs> indescribable, indescribable adventure. Uh, but I must say I'm also happy to be back on the bike again. Uh, I discovered that I broke another spoke probably on the boat uh, they didn't handle the bike with too much care uh, I think it's fixed for now but I got quite a large crack in my rear rim uh, I'm, I'm really not sure how long uh, how long it will last Another very nice bush camp here, Tanzania. Yeah. Tanzania is such a big country, especially in comparison with Uganda. And it makes, makes it a lot easier to find quiet places to camp. Not so many people around. Actually, as far as I can see here, no villages. Tanzanian people, it's a very, very kind, very kind people, always very polite, always waving. Uh, it's my last day in Tanzania, I'm gonna miss the people. I'm very grateful that I had the opportunity to cycle in this amazing country. Tomorrow, a few hours of cycling, and then I will reach the border with Zambia. Don't really expect any problems there, 